Assalamu alaikum friends, this is Sami and you are watching Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Dear friends, in this video lecture today, I am going to discuss about why plant beams provide in building construction. So let's get started, but don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. And of course, it's important question for every civil engineer. Many people, they provide plant beam in building construction, but they don't know that what's are the reason and what's the purpose of plant beam in building construction. So in this video, I am discussing that why plant beams are provided in building construction. So the first point is plant beams are provided to reduce the settlement of construction site. We know that we have different types of settlement in soil. So therefore, we provide the plant beam because the plant beam reduces the settlement of construction site. If we don't provide the plant beam and if any soil has low bearing capacity so there the settlement should be present maybe it will be make settlement after some days so for that we have to provide plant beam which can reduce the settlement of construction site remember that settlement is a danger thing for construction site it can fail your building or it can fail your construction works second it's also provide connection to column. How? Suppose this is the plant beam cross section. This is plant beam, right? RCC plant beam. Plant beam PB, right? And we say that it's also provide connection to column. So this is the column. This is also a column. These are columns. Okay. So, plant beam here, just, so, plant beam connect the column, right? So, this is plant beam and these two are columns. So, it make connection with columns, right? Second, if uh, if the connection is not uh, good and the column and beam so it's also danger for superstructure okay it can become fail third point plane beam distribute superstructure load to the substructure so when we provide plane beam so this plane beam this plane beam Distribute the superstructure load. Okay, so suppose this is the superstructure if this is the slab on this Okay, our brickworks our wall anything so this uh, plant beam can distribute the superstructure load to the substructure right and substructure is below the uh, plant beam right other plant beam separate the wall from directly laying it on ground if we don't provide the plant beam in building construction, so the wall will become directly on the ground. So this is wall, masonry wall, right? And this is plant beam, okay? So if we don't provide the plant beam, so this superstructure or this wall will be directly laying on the ground, okay? So therefore we provide plant beam for building construction to reduce the settlement and also it can give you more uh, benefits to your building last one it also save the building from uh, fifth it's also save building from different types fifth it's also save building from different types of settlement. We know that we have different types of settlement. If you don't provide the plant beam in building construction, so uh, it can make settlement. Without uh, uh, the plant beam, uh, our building can make settlement. So therefore, we provide the plant beam and settlement as a danger thing. I've already discussed in this. So these are the useful points. Therefore, we provide plain beam in building construction. It's too much important. If you don't provide 
plane beam in building construction so uh, without the plane beam your soil can make different types of settlement and settlement is a danger thing for your building so your building will be fail after some days or some years see you in next video thanks for watching bye bye